Hey, what's going on guys? So Chris Richards is all set to join Crystal Palace after coming to a verbal agreement with the club. While a fee is yet to be ironed out with Bayern Munich, it shouldn't prove to be much of a stumbling block given their need to offload centre-halves following the imminent arrival of Matthias De Ligt. It appeared as though Palace were in for Chelsea wonderkid Levy Colwell, but as it turns out, that was merely a smokescreen for their primary target in Richards. In terms of Richards' background, he came through FC Dallas's academy as a 17-year-old before signing his first professional contract with them a year later. Prior to even making his first team debut, he was given the opportunity to go on a 10-day trial to Bayern Munich as part of a program targeted at unearthing gems within the North American market. He took this chance with both hands and impressed sufficiently enough for Bayern to sign him on loan for a year. He represented the Bavarian Giants in preseason games before shining for their under-19s and reserves over the next couple of seasons. Eventually, he did sign on a permanent basis and got a chance to play for their first team both domestically as well as in Europe. But unfortunately, minutes were few and far between. With this in mind, he spent a year and a half on loan at Hoffenheim, who finished in a credible ninth place last season, which was higher than Europa League winners Eintracht Frankfurt. Unlike Omar Richards and Mark Rocca, who are quite clearly surplus to requirements, Bayern supporters are disappointed to see the back of Richards because of how much potential he has, so this is a shrewd move by Vieira and the Palace Transfer Committee. As far as Richards' style of play is concerned, he's a tall, lanky, right-sided centre-half who is also capable of playing across the entire back line as showcased by the heat map on screen. This level of versatility in both half spaces as well as wide areas is exactly what Vieira is looking for in a centre-half to provide him with some tactical flexibility. As is the case with most teams in German football, playing on the front foot is something Richards is well accustomed to and thus a high back line suits him very well, which can't be said for several players. Despite only being 22, he reads the game well enough to cut off passing lanes during opposition counter-attacks. Conversely, he has enough pace and athleticism to make a recovery tackle should a forward find themselves in behind, which makes him tough to get past in one-on-one -on -one situations. He is resilient and aggressive in equal measure and this allows him to recover possession in pretty much every manner possible, which showcases a fantastic all-round game. His strong anticipation and intuitiveness results in him winning lots of 50-50s, which is an invaluable trait as it simply cannot be taught. In possession, he's everything you'd expect from a modern-day centre-back. He isn't phased when pressed and is comfortable in taking on responsibility to build from the back. In addition, he's very good in the air, which leads to him towering over centre forwards at one end of the pitch and being a threat of set pieces at the other. There are, however, certain areas in need of improvement. He tends to struggle when expected to play off his weaker left foot, which isn't a disaster by any means, but certainly something Palace's defence need to be wary of when giving him possession. Furthermore, he's picked up a couple of injuries in recent times and missed plenty of games because of it. As they say, availability is the best ability and the most matches the lad has played in an entire top flight season stands at 21, which quite simply put isn't good enough. That being said, he's likely to get over this once he grows into his frame and hopefully the pace and physicality of the Prem doesn't get to him in the short term. Overall, this is a terrific signing for both the present and perhaps more importantly the future. With the World Cup just around the corner, Richards knows full well that he needs minutes at club level in order to win a starting berth for Qatar, and I expect him to be in Palace's 11 by the time September comes around. It's nice to see Palace being well ran for a change, and I have high hopes for them to build upon what was an unexpectedly excellent season in 2021-22. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If that is the case, please do consider giving it a like and subscribe for more football-related content. Cheers and have a great week ahead. Peace.